LVG-325A Galvanic General Operation. The patient leads should always be checked for proper connection and damage or deterioration prior to treatment. Loose connections or damaged cables can cause low stimulation output, no stimulation output, or sudden irregular increases in output resulting in possible discomfort to the patient. The treatment site and electrodes should be cleaned and properly prepared prior to application of electrical stimulation to the patient. Thoroughly moisten the treatment site and electrode surface prior to every treatment. In order to operate model LVG325A, you must first connect the power cord to the AC receptacle on the back of the unit and insert the power cord plug into a properly grounded AC receptacle. Connect the patient treatment stop switch to the treatment stop jack. Rotate the intensity control knob to the zero reset position, enabling the audible click. The LVG325A is equipped with an intensity reset circuit feature. This feature prevents the practitioner from applying one patient's intensity setting to another patient. Set the output mode control to continuous. LVG325A intensity level should always be set while the device is in the continuous mode. This will prevent unexpected surges of intensity during the initial patient setup in surge or alternating polarity surge modes. Prepare the sponge pad electrodes and apply them to the patient. The sponge pad electrodes may be held in place by means of retention straps or weight bags. Hand the patient treatment stop switch to the patient and explain its function. Rotate the power timer knob and set it to the desired treatment duration. The on indicator light, located above the upper left corner of the low voltage galvanic meter, will illuminate and the normal polarity indicator light will illuminate. Depress the low voltage galvanic polarity switch to select normal or reverse polarity. The normal or reverse polarity indicator light will reflect the selection. Normal or reverse polarity may be selected during treatment except when treating in the alternating polarity surge mode. Slowly increase the low voltage galvanic intensity control to the desired galvanic output level. The low voltage galvanic intensity control should always be increased gradually to avoid burns or trauma to tissue. If the low voltage galvanic reset intensity indicator light is illuminated, no output will be obtained until the low voltage galvanic intensity control is returned to the zero reset position, enabling the audible click. If desired, select an alternate low voltage galvanic output mode, surge or alternating polarity surge. Adjust the low voltage galvanic surge duration control to regulate the surge duration or alternating polarity surge duration. The output rate selected is indicated on the low voltage galvanic meter dial. When treatment is completed, the AC power will shut off and a bell will sound. To initiate early shutoff, turn the power timer knob counterclockwise to the off position. The AC power will shut off and a bell will sound. Reduce the low voltage galvanic intensity control to the zero reset position, enabling the audible click. Thoroughly clean the sponge pad electrodes with warm water. In order to verify patient lead and pad electrode conductivity, depress the test load switch and adjust the low voltage galvanic intensity control until DC output indicates 5 milliamperes on the low voltage galvanic meter dial. Release the test load switch and make no further adjustments to the low voltage galvanic intensity control. Place the patient pad electrode's active faces in full contact with each other. Observe the output current displayed on the low voltage galvanic meter dial. If the output current from the patient leads and pad electrodes is less than 5 milliamperes, replacement is indicated.